Hello there everyone and welcome back to 5.9 Gaming where we cover all sorts of gaming content. Pokemon Snap just released a few weeks ago and you may have seen Radical and Goresh played on the channel. Well we asked them to send the Pokemon team their 10 favorite pictures that they took. They didn't have to be their highest scoring ones, just the ones that they liked the most. And now all of us are going to give them our own score for each one. But before we do that, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Now take it away guys. Alright we got Brad's picture here and it's a Flygon in a beautiful 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 environment the aura the lighting the uh swirls the sparkles whatever you whatever it is well done what a picture what a photograph i have to admit it's a straight 10 it's a straight 10 uh brad i didn't expect this from you but you blew my expectations away man a fantastic job 10 out of 10 job man okay so first picture that we have here from gresh is actually wingle catching a finion i'm not entirely sure how i feel about Pokemon. Pokemon eating another Pokemon, but it is actually kind of cute of how happy the Wingle looks. Unfortunately for Finneon, he's not going to have a good day, but it is what it is. You know, Wingle's happy. That's how nature goes, but I do like the pick. Uh, the colors for the water are nice. The look on uh, Wingle's face actually does, you know, make me smile a little bit. But again, unfortunately for Finneon, it is what it is. Now, there are a couple things to say about this shot of Tyranitar. Um, as you can see by the picture, it seems that the photographer is very experienced because he understands that golden hour is a very good time to shoot. Now, as far as the picture itself goes, the Tyranitar seems very distracted. Um, it's not a natural pose. It's not a personality shot. It, it's very force fed, um, quite literally. As you can see, it's eating an apple and its jaw looks like it's unhinged and kind of scary, honestly. The picture itself, it seems pretty centered. It's not a horrible picture with its natural surroundings and not as personal shot. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this first picture by Goresh. As we can see here, it's a Heracross, which definitely bonus points because it's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's a very uh, lackadaisical Heracross, that's for sure. I will also say that it does suck that you couldn't get the full thing. Yes, it's only an arm, but it looks like actually the ground's kind of covering it. So I can't really fault you for that. So with that in mind, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that picture a nine out of 10. All right, this is a Bidoof picture. Absolutely love Bidoof. This is a really, really nice picture. I love the water textures in this game. Eight out of 10. I believe that's Murkrow. There's nothing bad about it. I love it. Like the colors and everything, but it's the face. It's the really bro phase i love it i i should even make that an emote for something probably for discord the face is priceless all right now we have uh here score bunny resting on torterra now this is at the beginning of the game so this is this was a cool picture to get and i've gotten this several several times the angle's good you get a majority of the pokemon it's very up close it's nice it's a very nice picture so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give that an 8 out of 10. All right, from Goresh, it's what seems to be a whooper in its natural habitat. Very lovely picture. The environment could have been a bit better, but it's a whooper. So I have to give it high marks. And it's the surprise face. Strong 9. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Great job, Goresh. I really like that picture. Whooper. Whoops. All right, and next up, we have Pichu and Grookey. Uh, this is definitely a B-Radical picture. They look too happy. 1 out of 10. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, they, they look too happy for me. Nothing in the world is worth being that happy for. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, the colors are great, so I'll give it a I give it a four out of ten. I must admit, very good picture, Garish. Very very good picture. I must say, it is very nice. You can see a lichen rock getting into the territory of a Tyranitar, getting ready to charge up at it. Well timed, well done. Nothing you could have done about lichen rock's position would have been great to have a side angle instead of this profile, but it. It adds to it in my personal opinion as well. Tyranitar readying to fight the Lycan Rock. I'd have to say 8 out of 10. This next photo, there's so much to say. It is very majestic. The profile of the Pokemon is spanning the whole photo. There are hints of lime green with red blending into the background, and it kind of works. It just works. There's kind of a story behind this, you know? Why, where are you going, Aerodactyl? Where, where are you coming from? What are you going to do with that apple in your mouth? Why is it kind of levitating? It's, it's almost beautiful. 
in a sense. Overall, the picture does tell a story and it says many words to it. And again, with the placement not being fully centered, but a little off center, it works. It works with the coloring. Again, this is just a great photo in my opinion. And I, that is why I'm going to have to score it with a nine out of 10. All right, and this picture, this is definitely a Goresh picture. Goresh like taking pictures of their booties, you know? Now I'm not into Pokemon butts, so I'm not gonna give this one a 10 out of 10, but I do like the apple there. So I give this one at least a seven out of 10, and that's my personal opinion. Sorry, Goresh, I'm not into the Poke butts. Uh, anyways, I'll take the next one. Is from Brad. Again, no complaints here. It's Sabo being happy. You can never go wrong with Pokemon being happy. It's nice to see Sabo enjoying himself with a smile on his face, just enjoying nature and whatnot. So overall, fantastic picks from both of them for all three of them. We have a Gengar, which is, again, another one of my favorite Pokemon. And this is a really, really cool picture. I absolutely love this. The fact that the shading works really, really well with the Gengar, Gengar and everything it just it just looks perfect to me uh in that regard but again it's just like the Heracross picture in in the sense of like I like it it's very nice I'm gonna give that a nine as well this is a bit more of an interesting one Brad I must admit a very interesting option putting the apples on the sides of the Cacnea I would have appreciated this more in its uniqueness with the apples on the side of its head as well as right in front of it if it weren't for the two random holes on the side, which make it look extremely weird. So I might have to drop some points for it. Plus the environment seems extremely bland. I mean, sorry lad, but that's a seven from me, man. That's a seven from me. Could have done better, could have done a whole lot better, but you tried your best and I have to give it a seven instead. All right, got a Mew. This is definitely a Goresh picture. Goresh is a very good photographer. This Mew is absolutely beautiful. My favorite legendary in the game. I love the colors of this. Mew is nice, not, not exactly centered, but he's pretty much centered. The colors of everything in the background. I like the little leopard Pokemon right there in the corner. Very good picture. I'm giving this one a solid 10 out of 10. All right, this is a really cool picture. It sucks that, I, I mean, it doesn't really suck in the sense of like, it's not a, up close but i wish it was just a little bit closer but at the same time if you if you would be too much closer you wouldn't catch the water you would just see him jumping so i'm actually kind of glad that it got the waterfall that it got in the background you know you got the sobbles right there it's a fantastic photo of venusaur for sure so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give that also a nine out of 10. they say photos speak a thousand words and this photo in itself speaks those thousands of words as you can see in this picture lugio is in its natural habitat underwater and i think the biggest thing behind this photo is not only the mystery but also its expression it looks as if it's fending off enemies or crying out in agony and there's so much of a story behind it that kind of leads to the audience reading into the photo itself sure there's a couple technical things with it not being fully centered and uh, it being kind of blurry in a little bit of a sense, but I think that blur works help It kind of helps transport the story and it just it works out well because it's like what is Lugia doing? Is it really crying out because its best friend just died or is he at a donut shop because you see the the circle in the background? Or is that an arrow blast as he's fighting off his enemies? What is happening in this picture? It leads so much for the mind and the imagination to take off and that is why even though it has its technical flaws that's why it's not going to receive a 10 but overall the story the mystery the expression in this photo is going to give it a 9 out of 10. Whoa, you expected an impartial narrator, but it was I, a very impartial narrator this entire time. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So I'm looking at this picture from Bradical of this Blastoise just kind of shooting through the sky here. And honestly, it is a very cool shot. I think him getting that is really cool, but I have to knock him down a bit for all the empty space around the Blastoise. The Blastoise could have been zoomed in a little bit and you wouldn't have really lost anything here so I think that maybe cropping it a bit more would have been better you see some cool stuff in the background and it's got beautiful lighting by the way very beautiful lighting but just too much open space that's my one big problem with that so if I have to give him a score out of 10 I'm giving him a 7 sorry Brad 
you're getting a seven on my, my shoddy piece of paper here. So I'm looking at this photo of the Jinx from Goresh, and honestly, I love it. I think that the Jinx in the snow being lit up, fantastic. I don't know if that was from like an Illumina orb or what. Uh, the zoom is great. Um, the only thing that I would maybe nitpick, I wish you could do this, but you can't in Pokemon Snap, unfortunately, is have a little other Jinx on Jinx's left side, because you got a Jinx on the right side there, and it's cut off, which is actually fine, I think, because it just works perfectly with that one glacier on that side but you see the other glacier and it would be nice if jinx was flanked by another one that being said you can't do that in pokemon snap so i'm not gonna really not knock him down for it i just wish it was a thing uh but the jinx just dancing right there very very cool again i don't know if that jinx is lit up from a crystal bloom or an illumina orb but just having the little dot sparkles things around it is really really cool so if i'm giving garash a score it's gonna be a nine he's got it's got a 9 out of 10. I don't I don't know if it flipped around, but it, it's a 9. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is kind of something different that we wanted to try just to have some fun here on the channel. And if you guys have any more videos you want us to do, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.